The goal for this video is to define and derive two functions that will play an important role in our understanding of the so-called law of demand in the relationship between price and quantity demanded. We start with the usual direct representation of the utility one obtains from the XY consumption bundle. Maximizing utility subject to the budget constraint the demand for X as a function of prices and income and the demand for Y. Substitute these back into the utility function and we get utility as a function of prices and income that is the indirect utility function. It measures the satisfaction a utility maximizing person would obtain with this income facing these prices. Consider an example using one of the most commonly used utility functions in consumer choice theory, the Cobb-Douglas. Let utility u1 of xy be equal to 5x cubed y to the fourth. The monotronic transformation u equals one fifth u to the one seventh can be used to yield an expression where the exponents sum to one. So u2 is equal to one-fifth of five x cubed y to the fourth raised to the one-seventh. That would be x to the three-sevenths y to the four-sevenths. Hence, any particular Cobb-Douglas utility function can be transformed into the standard form. U x y is equal to x to the a y to the 1 minus a with marginal utility u x equal to a x to the a minus 1 y to the 1 minus a and u y equal 1 minus a x to the a y to the minus a. At a maximum, the ratio of the marginal utilities is equal to the ratio of the prices. That is, a to the x, a to the minus 1, y to the 1 minus a over 1 minus a x to the a y to the minus a which we can simplify as a over 1 minus a let's see the a's cancel so it's just x in the denominator the a minus a's cancel that's just y in the numerator. That's the marginal utilities. We set that equal to the ratio of the prices px over py. I want pyy to substitute into the budget constraint and I can get that by cross multiplying and flipping the a over 1 minus a and moving it to the right. So I've got py y is equal to 1 minus a over a times p x x. I put that into the budget constraint p x x x plus 1 minus a over a p x x equals i. I combine my terms so I have a plus 1 minus a 
over a times px x equals i or let's see the a's cancel or x equals a i over p x go back and check that in a similar manner y will be equal to 1 minus a i over p y if we take these two expressions and substitute them back into the original utility function we get the indirect utility function a function of px py and i equal to substituting for x a i over px to the a and substituting for y 1 minus a i over py to the 1 minus a it's helpful to rewrite this as a to the a 1 minus a to the 1 minus a let's see collect the terms for income and we have income to the a plus 1 minus a but the a's cancel so I'm just left with i to the 1 and then I have px to the minus a py to the minus 1 minus a that's the indirect utility function for the standard Cobb-Douglas. The expenditure function derives the minimum expenditure needed to achieve, achieve satisfaction level U0 given prices Px and Py. To find the expenditure function, we set the indirect utility function equal to the desired level and substitute E for I. In our previous example, we had a to the a, 1 minus a to the 1 minus a, i, px to the minus a, py to the minus 1 minus a. We now set that equal to the level u0. To get the expenditure function, we replace i with e, which gives us this expression to obtain the expenditure function e a function of prices and the desired utility level I solve for e by moving all of the other terms on the left over to the right that is I take I divide by a, both sides by a to the a which gives me a to the minus a then 1 minus a to the minus 1 minus a now px that's going to be px to the a since dividing through by px to the minus a is the same as multiplying by px to the a and py to the 1 minus a and of course I've got my u naught so basically I'm just isolating e on the left hand side so, you give me the prices a consumer faces and his desired level of utility, and I'll tell you how much he will need to spend to maintain that level of utility. We use the indirect utility and expenditure functions to sort out the income and substitution effects of a change in price on quantity demanded. But that's a story for another day.